Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video, and in this one, we're gonna talk about the Sumancer, which is one of the top three starter builds that I have in mind for 3.24 Necropolis League when it comes to minions. I think that the top three minion builds is going to be the Bama. We're gonna have the Sumancer build, and we're gonna have Poison SRS. Yes, indeed, you heard me, Poison SRS. Maybe a fourth one being Spectres. Today's video, we're gonna talk about the Sumancer. And it's going to be a fun one. I do want to say that we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So if you want to support the stream and the YouTube channel, please do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe for content in case you liked the video. Let's watch the rest of it. If you still like it after that, hit the like button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I don't know why I said catch you guys in the next one. As per usual, you can find all of my written guides housed in the Gassy Guide Hub posted on PUE Vault from Icy Veins. In here, you'll find all of the updated build guys ready for launch, as well as the non-updated guys if you want to look at the older ones, and crafting guys, basic and advanced crafting guys, anime guardian guides. Enough of that, and let's just crack into the actual build. We are going to talk about the Sumancer, which we have done for a, quite a few leagues now, where the high-budget version of this build is something Helmbreaker has been working a lot with us on, and we've been having a lot of fun making mirror helmets and whatnot, and I just had an absolute blast. Now... I'm a big fan of the Guardian version because of the simple fact that we are able to use shield charge and you can find the Guardian version in the in the actual guide by clicking on the Guardian variant button here. However, I'm going to have to take a back seat on the Guardian and say that the Sumancer Necromancer is a preferable choice. And the reason for that is the because of the leech. Now, this is the low budget POB. And I just want to point out, if you happen to be watching this video further down the road, we might have made some changes. So the reason you, I will tell you to always check the written guide is because we are always keeping the written guides updated for any changes in the future moving forward. This build will have the Necromancer Bone Barrier node to have Leech. We're also going to be picking up Instant Leech, allowing us to be leeching consistently from HP from all of our minions to us, making us absolutely insanely tanky or at least resilient now this build hasn't changed over the last few years at all and the only thing that's happened with the edition of 3.24 is actually the fact that we're getting the leech to the necromancer i will say this though by the reason of using shield charge on the guardian the guardian should realistically be a little bit faster on the lower budget in terms of clear speed whilst the necromancer should be a bit more resilient due to the leech nodes themselves but other than that, the build has remained the exact same approach. It is performing admirably on the low body, doing about 5 million Shaper DPS with a stupidly good tankiness to it on top of the actual leech. Leveling very, very good. It's been a very solid leech starter for many leagues now. And the build guide is actually using permanent skeletons in the lower end version. And as you progress further up, you'll get to the medium budget version of the Sumancer, in which we're going to see a lot more damage at over 16 million. Your EHP is going up significantly, still running the leech and the instant leech. Then it's just absolutely fantastic. And the same thing goes for the Guardian version. On the high budget, however, there's going to be a little bit of more pressure when it comes to currency. We're looking at a very high EHP pool, as well as doing over 41 million Shaper DPS. Again, keeping up with the actual leech. However, we are not having instant leech in this. Uh, but there is a plethora of different tattoos which will be utilized on a lot of the builds for a high budget moving forward. There is also, courtesy of Helmbreaker, this one, a mirror tier version. The mirror tier version is going to be doing about 158 million Shaper DPS with almost half a million EHP. Now, this is crazy, but it also has the price tag. I mean, we're talking about a literal mirror helmet, which we've done in multiple, league, multiple leagues in a row. So if you're one of those big dick swingers with a big ass wallet, to slap out a ton of divine orbs let's just go for it and see how you like the build so i want to point out a couple of quick things with it come to the pub so that people will understand how to read these things as it can be a bit questionable and sometimes a little tricky to understand what the hell is going on first and foremost we have some information regarding some configuration for example we are going to want to cap our elemental rest with gear as well as attributes this is covered in differently in different pubs in this one we're having some little text saying get rest and attributes here which is why the pubs look in this way so make sure you read that and check it out there will be a gear progression page inside the actual build guide in which you will have a description of what to do during the campaign how to level up in the low budget in the early gearing stage as well as how to go through the gear, gear character's gearing progression as you move forward into medium budget and then forward you'll also find in the written guide so things like animate guardian and specter information in which you can find information of how to summon the specters 
what specs you're supposed to be using, in-depth animate guardian section, what kind of gear you can run with guardian or necromancer, different approaches with low budget and medium budget. And it's just absolutely insane with the amount of information available to you with the options you have when it comes to this type of build outside of that when it comes to the actual skill section we always have it lined up with the main skills we're using the utility skills and the auras and a configuration group and i wanted to explain the configuration group for you here in this video this is something i've been starting to use in a recent time so what this has done is to have modifiers in here which is most often used by minion builds to make sure that we are presenting accurate numbers in the dps display for example, this one is telling me that there's a summon phantasm. Level 16 gem is indeed correct. This is to replicate the amount of minions that is actually being played when it comes to the damage approach to that PUB is calculating the exact accurate numbers for you to look at. That's why this config setup is here. So don't bother looking at it because if you look at the setup here, it says four link phantasm boots. But this is the one we're actually using, which is race specter. And in here, it's just the Phantasm setup configured to make sure that we can see the damage. Uh, another thing to point out is that if you look at the four link specters on the left hand side, we'll see that we have two cross claws. This basically says that we're going to have two out of our four specters will be the primal cross claws. However, we're using four specters. So what happens to the rest? Well, they're going to end up in a separate uh, link over here. It's the same setups when it comes to these things. However, as you can see, in parentheses is one Carnage Chieftain and one Arena Master. And the reason it is set up this way is so that the PUB can see that, well, you have indeed a Carnage Chieftain here. You also have an Arena Master here, but you also have two Primal Cross Claws. And this is how we get the numbers to be accurate to display the damage the build will be doing. So I don't really have much more to say, and I've basically been stalling this entire video to describe a few details, little information about the actual setup of the PUB and the written guide. And that's basically it, because I just wanted to tell you that this is going to be one of the craziest and most effective League Star builds that you can play when it comes to minions in 3.24 in the top three shift together with the, both the Bama build and Poison SRS. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't want to waste your time anymore. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content. And as always, till next time, stay safe and keep rocking.